This is Movies in Contemplation with Jirak and... Oh, am I talking to Jesus, you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hello, contemplators. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays and Happy Hanukkah. Happy, Happy everything. everything. Happy New Year, and we are doing this on New Year's Eve, so we we're trying are. to beat the fireworks. Trying to beat the fireworks. <laughs> right. Hope everyone is safe tonight, but what better way to start your year than this movie, this franchise, this... Shit show. Number one best-selling book of its time, the teen angst and love between two polar opposites and love triumphs and all that bullshit yep 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 <laughs> ridiculous oh no a bone oh no opie has a bone that will not do sir get him i'll get him i know i'm sorry but well while we take the dog's bone away let us go ahead and talk about the fuck i don't even know well we're we're doing Twilight. Oh, that's right. We're doing Twilight. We're doing Twilight. Everybody, Twilight. <laughs> you can read the cast and the crew better than I can. Yeah. Okay. Twilight. Directed by Catherine Hardwick. Melissa Rosenberg and Stephanie Meyer. Writing credits. Stephanie Meyer wrote the novel. Yes, she is the novelist. Yeah. Uh, starring Kristen Stewart, Billy Burke... I don't know why. Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson, but he's not fucking... I don't know why they don't have yeah. the names up front. But yeah, they whatever. don't have the list in order like you would see in normal like opening credits. Right. Taylor Lautner. Lautner. Fucking... You guys know who's in this. Yeah. We yeah, all know Anna Kendrick. Knows. There's lots, lots of people in this. Yeah. yeah. Not to like discredit them. Fine. But you guys know at this point. You know. You we, know. We all know. We all know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to see their fucking names, too. Like... Like, who plays who? Yeah, like, it just makes no sense to me how they... Like, Tyler. Who the fuck is Tyler, and why is he, I like, know, the top five? I know who Tyler is. Get out of here. Well... All right. Not you. This, Ty, this is my pick. Not you, him. <laughs> got, him, him. He shouldn't be top five. <laughs> he's in a, He's the kid that fucking runs her over with a van. So you do know. So there you go. He why? He's so minor. All right. <laughs> Anywho, fuck it. Moving on. So, Twilight. Yes. Oh my goodness, Callie, what does this film mean to you? Absolutely sorry, nothing. There you go, my girl. I just decided to do this for fun. Yeah. We both have watched this movie separately. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've got a bit of a story. Yeah. And I just, I knew of it. I knew about the kind of the books, not, kind of like the same with Harry Potter, not until like the movies kind of started. Right. And I'm like, where the fuck have I, I don't know any of this shit. Maybe because it's not part of my time, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know any, anything about this. But um, I discovered, I actually wanted to watch this only because I discovered Riff Tracks. Yeah. We've mentioned this on the podcast. We both love Mystery Science Theater 3000. I went through years of just being obsessed with it. That would be, that would be like my fall asleep show. I remember it as a kid. And then I discovered that the guys that ended started riff tracks. And they were actually riffing movies of the time. Right. Which they never did in MST3K. It was all older stuff mm -hmm. that I've never seen before. So it was such a... Like, I had to know. Right. And funny, the first one that I watched by myself was New Moon. Oh. I didn't even watch the first one. Huh. I just knew that was, like, the one of, like, the time. So yeah. I just went in there and I just fucking laughed my ass off. Yeah. When did you first hear of Twilight? Oh, dear God. So I had a... An ex in high school who was so big into these fucking books. Wasn't she the religious one? They all were. <laughs> except for one, actually. But uh, that was like the first. But yeah. anywho. No, she was like... She wasn't like religious, religious. That was uh. the before. Okay. But this one was religious. Okay. But anywho. So she would watch this all the fucking time. And we were in drama. And... She had the book, and I was like, oh, what is this, Twilight? And she's like, yeah, it's about vampires and werewolves. And I was like, so underworld, but gay, you know? And then she was like, 
ah, oh, sad. I was like, it's stupid. Didn't she think you would like it? Because yeah, because you of like the werewolves, under, underworld yeah. vampires. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She was like, you'll like it. And I was like, okay, well. And then I randomly took the book mm-hmm. and I said, well, then I'm gonna try to read it. And I just opened it and I and I shit ye nay, I opened it to the wonderful part in the book where he's all like. He stands in the middle of a field and the sun shines through the trees and his skin begins to sparkle and da-da-da-da-da. And I was like, what the actual fuck is this, man? Seriously. (laughs) Like, she's just like, I'm reading it and I keep going and I'm trying to, like, understand what made her think that I would like it. And then I was just kind of like, this is dumb. But then she would, like, tell me things. She would be like... Yeah, there's this guy Emmett. He's like super strong, and like that's pretty much all he has. And you know, like fucking Edward is like he's psychic, but he's a vampire, and na 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 na. And I'm like, so the only one that sounds cool to me is the dumb one. Okay. <laughs> well, it's the biggest guy in the room. Exactly. Who's yeah, the strongest? Yeah, side joke. Yeah. Yeah, man, a few words. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's your guy. That's your. That is that, my that's guy. Your that's, type. My, that's my type. That is, that your is type. my type. <laughs> Hear that, gentlemen? Yeah. That's <laughs> but anywho, no, so all that shit. So anywho, the movie comes out. Yeah. We go. I go with her. See the movie. We saw it in theaters. We saw it in theaters. <laughs> saw this movie in theaters. I was probably, and this isn't, this is usually actually an always thing, even with you. Yeah. Of course, we talked about it and seen fucking Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Only fucking guy in the theater <laughs> at Twilight. But what really annoyed me about Twilight was I had to sit next to... This mom who brought her, like, daughter, her, like, 11, 10-year-old fucking child to this movie. And the mom was all like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know who the fuck was more excited. But that mom was so annoying. obviously the mom that wanted to go. And she was like, oh, my God. She's like, oh, are you just so excited for this? And I'm literally like... Yeah, so so what team are you? And I was like... Wait, the I'm... first movie, right out of the gate, they're already, like, picking teams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, are, <laughs> you, t- are you team Edward? Are you team Jacob? I guess because of the books. I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess because but... all the books were already out. Yeah, so she was like, well, what, what, what team are you? And I was like, I'm team Emmett. <laughs> like, I'm team Emmett. I, have, I am here for Emmett. And then she was just like, oh, you're in the wrong place. <sighs> and I go, yeah. You're... You're just being a good boyfriend. Mm-hmm. So, needless <laughs> to say, throughout the rest of the film, I was doing what I do and laughing at every dumb fucking thing in theaters. I was the only one laughing. And <laughs> Same as in she didn't ex- exactly. <laughs> she, except in this one, nobody found my laughing funny. Like they didn't. <laughs> you probably got. That. I did. She was all oh, that mom. Daggers. I still remember. It. She was just literally just like. And I was just like, oh my god, bitch, whatever. You did this. Yeah, you sat like, next you, to me. You fu- yeah, you were the one that fucking pissed me off, number one, talking Ooh. to me. Like, don't fucking bitch. <laughs> but anywho, no. I like I tried, though. I really you did tried. try. But, you know, it was like... It was just this one, though. Like, I mean, the other ones, I guess, are kind of tolerable. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess to sit... Like, I have to watch these with Mystery Science. We- I can't... I can't yeah. do this without riff tracks. I can't. I can't do it. I can't, I can't either. I This was the first time I've actually watched him, any of them mm-hmm. without it. Because so, I knew that I would get distracted by yeah. the jokes. And I knew that I, I, I'm i going to do my best to not repeat the jokes. Apologies. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to give some jokes away. Just because they're, they're funny. Yeah. They're yeah. so funny. And, and they make the movie like... I think it's... Because we watch a lot of riff tracks. Right. The Twilight ones are their best. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. The best. They're the funniest. Like, top notch. Yeah. But we got to bring up the wine because we I do. know I have fucking... We haven't done this so long. I know. All these holidays. All these holidays. Stop. Stop. All right. What do we got? Uh, Ava Grace Vineyard. Something about the little art kind of looks like, like wallpaper. Like those um, high-end dudes that we don't meet until the... Second one? Second That's what one. I was thinking, actually, Were when you? I looked at that. Yeah, oh, I was yeah. like, oh my god, is that like the three? The Vol- Voltaire. The, Vol- the Vulcans? Vol- Voltaire. Vol- yeah. <laughs> oh, the Voltiers, Vol- whatever the fuck is they're called. Is that it? I, I have no fucking clue. Yeah. Something. It was just, uh, 2018 Cabernet. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. It is a twisty screw. But before we dive in, I, I will say that I, I, I attempted to read, not read, I listened to the book. Mm-hmm. 
I asked around if anyone even had the book so I can read it without buying it, but then no one had it, yeah. surprisingly. Oh, my God. Right. But I, I listened to the audiobook. It's free on YouTube. I couldn't get through half of the book. Yeah. It's the same thing, except more of Bella's inner monologue. Right. Like, because sometimes we'll get a little voiceover. Yeah. It's just that the entire thing. And honestly, Bella just sounds more, it sounds horrible, but she just sounds so pathetic. Mm -hmm. So pathetic. The move, the nude swings in this movie For give both me of them. whiplash. <laughs> Way to go to already throw Give in the first quote. <laughs> it's so horrible. Like, I feel like women, uh, female characters get more criticized than male characters because when it comes to female characters, it goes towards are they likable or not? Mm -hmm. And that if if they're not like, if like, oh my God, I just don't like her. She's just so unlikable. It's because I believe she was poorly written. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't give the character any, like, depth, like, anything that they're struggling. And that's Bella. Right. She's this, like, in the first, like, couple pages, like, when she's going into school, it just, like, I, I get it, going to a new school is hard and whatnot, but she just sounded more like, like, ugh, I just, I, she could, didn't remember any of the people's names that she just met. I know names are hard, but she just kind of threw it away. Oh, yeah, I met this person who went out of their way to be nice to me, but I can't even... It is hot, isn't it? It's hot outside. Is it? Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's still like 60-something. I'm burning up. This is fucking New Year's Eve, and I'm sweating I know. already. I know, man. Holy shit. Well, I had the windows open for as long as I did. Oh, God. I wish they were still open, but I guess we'll hear fireworks more. We'll hear every little thing if I leave those windows. And then everybody will hear us, and you don't want that. Oh, no. We don't want that. It's all right. We'll plow through this. Yeah. But everyone is so welcoming, and she's just so standoffish and just so whatever about it it's kind of funny because that's kind of how i feel now as like a person oh my god are we bella now because we we're so antisocial <laughs> and so. like don't want to be around people oh my god bella's, we're bella bella's like us in our 30s i guess yeah i guess <laughs> oh my god like i'm just supposed to be a teenager you're supposed to be super outgoing and right like <laughs> i just i don't know i just can't uh, with it uh, i just speaking words and stammering and, everything and, 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 is hard life uh, is uh, beautiful and, and being sexy is uh, now awkward yeah it's <laughs> you're super fast super strong <laughs> super your skin is super cold oh god i haven't even gotten to that part yet Let's say it. jesus vampire that's really it. The teachers and even some of the students, they just like automatically assume that Bella's an idiot. Why is it? Because she's from Arizona. You know she's what? She's actually ahead of everybody yeah. academically. I, I never understood. Like, I, I know the only place in Arizona we've ever been to was Flagstaff. Right. But these fucking people, where the fuck is Forks? Is it in Washington? It is. is. It? Okay. Yeah. Is it a real place? I have I no think fucking idea. I think so. I think so. I, I Is it like the American London? Like it's just dark and gloomy all the fucking time? Apparently. Because like... I remember back, like way back when this was like in its prime, Forks was getting so much more attention because of Twilight. Mm. So it is an area. Right. I just never understood. They're all, they're acting like she like, oh, well, you, how you liking the rain, girl? Oh my God. Oh, they God. don't have rain in Arizona? Oh, yeah. You know I mean, they don't have snow in Arizona? I, oh, is Ari they almost were making Arizona, to me, sound like she was from fucking California. Well, it's, it's or very... Or like it's, LA. It's like next door to California. I know it's next door, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I I guess because we haven't been... I mean, fuck, when we went to Flax, it was snowing. It was a fucking blizzard. What? When we went to Arizona one time, when we drove, there was snow on the fucking ground. That's right. Yes. 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 I know what I'm about, girl. I know what you are about. And also, these big words. Hmm. This isn't just a Twilight thing. It's, I just remember growing up, these like teen movies and TV shows. They would have these like, like even if, even the smartest kids in class, I never heard them spew out these fucking spelling bee, the SAT words. But Le push. everyone was just spitting them out like it's their everyday language. Moving on. Yeah. 
I'm gonna not because we've got plenty room to go when it comes to like behind the scenes stuff and everything but I'm gonna like kind of drop little things yeah. throughout but the main one with this and I didn't know any of this thankfully of course like a couple days ago I finally found someone who is who not only owns the books but is I don't want to say obsessed but that was she even admitted like this was her thing she knows everything mm. she's she's a co-worker of mine and she gave me some information that I didn't know of and she gave us some funny she gave me some funny like little tidbits and things but Stephanie Meyer was so adamant about not casting any actor who is of color <laughs> she wanted everyone to be white even the Native Americans who are clearly in the book I mean the other characters in the story she doesn't really say what race they are ethnicity she wanted everyone to be white oh i can't wait i was gonna rip her apart but now i'm definitely gonna fucking terrorize her ass right oh my god because she is a devout mormon oh that and makes so a lot much sense a lot now. of things in the book and the movie makes a lot of sense and i think they she used this as a way to brainwash kids and think that think a certain way when it comes to purity and sex and we'll we'll we'll, we'll get there right but they finally like they had to argue with her like look we we have to at least attempt to cast i mean they really i, I can't i don't know if every person that's native american or, or descent if the actors actually were but at least they weren't what she wanted right the characters that were of color we got tyler who is black mm -hmm. and then we have uh, Eric, who is Asian. What was that one vampire that was uh, the the dreads? Laurent. Laurent. He was not black. Oh, it really? In the book? He wasn't? No. Well, I liked him, actually. Yeah, no, See, he's, he's great. Yeah. There are good... Here, here's the thing. So many of the actors that are in the films, they are good actors. Yeah. They're not bad. Even Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, they've done good work. Mm. So... I'm going to do, I'm going to pull a showgirls here and kind of throw a lot of blame into the direction and the writing. Yeah. Like what, it's clear that these actors are making these horrible decisions and like choices that aren't working. Mm. You would think someone, even the, the director who isn't a bad, I can't, I looked up a while ago what she has done, but she. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's go, let's uh, get back there. This is what Catherine Hardwick's all about. Twilight 13. 13. Okay. Lords of Dogtown. That's Actually, good. I've never seen either. Oh, Hell on Wheels. Okay. Well, Hell, one up some. Yeah. The Nativity The Lost story. Boys TV movie. Okay. Uh, Don't know about that one. Honestly, I can't really personally say that I really know anything that she's done because I've never watched any of those. Okay, I do know, I own both 13 and Lords of Dogtown, but those two are very good films. And even one of the actresses that's in that is in, she plays Rosalie. 13? 13. 13. Who's Rosalie? Um, scroll down. The bitch with Emmett? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, I, here, scroll slow, slow, again, slow. more. Well, Stop. Rosalie. Rosalie. Nikki, Nikki Reed. Reed. Yeah, she is She is a really amazing actress. And she didn't do bad in this movie either because she knows. Oh, she looks horrible as a blonde. She looks really good with that brown hair. She, well, she, yeah, she's a natural brunette. Oh, there you go. But I just think, again, it's just horrible acting. Did they just see this as a cash cow knowing we can just throw together some piece of shit garbage okay. and people are going to eat it up? Yeah. Well, like you said, cult. I mean, fuck, they're all... And that's funny, because I'm literally... When I was watching this earlier, I was literally like, dude, honestly, I hate the fan base. I hate the fucking fan base of this, because it is all... It's like you said, it is one big fucking cult. I'm just waiting for everybody to be all like, a Xenu's coming. Like, oh, You know, yeah. it's like some Scientology fucking yeah. Mormon shit. Like, and again, I guys, this is our opinion. If this is something you like, great. This can be something that you just enjoy. Like people... Like how I love Showgirls. Yeah. It's... It's it's a horrible movie, but I love it because of its campiness and its yeah. over the topness. But just don't. I hope I can't say this because I I did the same thing with other like films. Like when I was growing up, thinking yeah. that these romance films and movies and rom coms, this is how the world is supposed to work, mm -hmm. and it messed me up. So I'm 
hoping like later on, like I wish someone sat me down and was like, hey, Callie, these are movies. These are all fake. This is not how the real world works. Some Sometimes uh, projects sprinkle in a little bit of like real life, but yeah. do not think that this is how relationship, love, like, like the outcome of life is supposed to is supposed to be like right so this is not real guys just everything about this is toxic this is this isn't a romance of like the the greatest love story ever written it's not it's abusive yeah it's just like it's well duh because we did fucking 50 shades and all of them right i found it yeah it was it was junk food Mm-hmm. for me and of course after dissecting it i mean not that i didn't know it already but just like edward christian they're abusive yeah they are abusive narcissist stalking creeps Jesus, that's first a first firework yeah you can tell from the minute she walks into fucking class and that stupid fan blows her scent towards him yeah y'all can go ahead and fucking hate on me because i'm gonna hate the fuck on this i know you are so and i'm that's totally fine i'm any any of the fucking i'm coming for it all right but which the the fucking essence she just blows her shit just gets blown into him and then he just literally and riff tracks does it so perfect when he does that (laughs) you know he just oh he, like, does this move, and he has this face. Like, she, oh, God, she smells horrible. But he's, like, got a boner, and he's, like, trying to not bite her in the neck. Yeah, so there is Fuck also, yeah. just like in Fifty Shades, uh, there is Midnight midnight Mass. Sun. No, not Midnight Mass, because that was actually good and brilliant. <laughs> but Midnight Sun is the Twilight books through Edward's perspective. Oh, Lord. And I kind of listened to, uh, I watched this one channel. He uh, talks about, uh, he reviews books and whatnot, and he does a lot of bad books. Yeah. And he did this one. I didn't watch all of it, but he he read one part out in the beginning, the scene you're talking about. Right. What was going through his mind was he was mapping out and just throwing out strategies of how he is going to carefully and without a trace murder everybody in the classroom just so he can suck the life out of Bella. That's what was going through his mind. And that was Edward's reaction in the film. Robert Pattinson, that's what we got. He looked like he wanted to fucking puke, and so did Bella. We're, we're, let's stick with where we are. All right. Well, I guess we will back up just for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I got ahead. No, 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 you're fine. I, I don't want to stick. Never mind. We're going to continue. No, what are we doing? So we all know Bella moving in with her dad, her mom. I can't stand the mom. I get it. She's a free spirit and she wants to be with her boyfriend, her husband, who minor league, whatever. And honestly, Bella makes a decision like, hey, go do your thing. I'll just I'll just live with dad. It's going to suck, but I'm going to do this for you. So that's pretty mature of Bella to do that. So her mom could live out her fantasy. Mm hmm. And like we were saying about the books, like all the kids in the new school were very welcoming. They like allowed her at the seat at the table. They were so just outgoing. But I don't think they were welcoming in the beginning of the film, though. The, well, the, the boys and were. In the book. Oh, well, the boys. But The boys were. The girls, you know, girls are always like, oh, who's this new girl? Oh, my God. Is yeah. she going to be the, I thought I was the cute one kind of thing. But uh, again, to talk about the actors, I don't, I mean, An- uh, Anna Kendrick, obviously she's a great actress, but the other, I hate it every time they are together in the cafeteria trying to have these, like, fun like like it's supposed to be like an improv conversation of oh my god we're at the cafeteria we're talking about this this this, and that it was so awkward and just not organic like they were literally it i don't know what they were trying to do but with the food they they kept having food in their hands like like keeping it in frame look we are human we eat food and you want to talk about the collins no i'm talking about the human children oh like they were shoving things in our faces that were supposed to be like a like symbolism or irony, whatever. And it was just too fucking much. Like it made me want to vomit. Yeah. We do meet the Cullens. Everyone knows about them, but 
Uh, no one ever says anything that most of them look like they are in their mid thirties. Right. All of them. Maybe Robert Pattinson at the time could maybe pass. The others, not so much. Mm-hmm. Edward does get his teen heartthrob entrance where he's he opens the door super slowly to yeah. quote riff tracks. Ladies. <laughs> And go, don't get me started about the fucking music goes. <laughs> it sounds like whoever is the vocalist in each song sounds like they're getting tortured. It was Stephanie Meyer. No, I think it was like people in the audience. Yeah, I guess you're right. Watching the movie. Yeah, that actually was me. Being forced to watch this movie. <laughs> So yes, their their first interaction is what is normally called in cinema a meet cute. Mm. It's when they have like the love interests have their first interaction, and we're supposed to see fireworks and sparks and see the chemistry right away. Or even if it's like quirky and awkward, like there's still some chemistry. Eee, nothing. I didn't get any chemistry. With these two. And they dated in real life. Sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't know. Because I feel like I'm getting yelled at. No. In, in my head, I'm hearing people going, you do not say those kind of things. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them. Scrum. Scrum. Yeah. Screw the Twilight fans. Scrum. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Anthony Hopkins. Thank you, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Scrum. It's more like a meat puke. Yeah. Not a meat cute. Mm. It's a meat puke. Because, yeah, he just, he couldn't be around her. And she was just, oh, and of course, right away, she thinks, and she does this a lot. She always thinks she's the problem. And that is very, like, not good. Yeah. That's not a good message for, for girls to think that because something is wrong or someone's going through something, that means that it's their fault. Mm. Because, uh, like, right away, she starts sniffing her, her armpits, her hair. Like, oh, my God, is it me? Do I stink? Yeah. We, like, we, I, I'm going to, like, only mention certain, like, stock characters, but just because they only have, like, one purpose in this movie. But we meet, like, butt crack Santa. We get, uh, oh, another thing that they shove in our face is that Bella is a vegetarian. Oh. Ooh. God, she's a vegetarian and the vampires are vegetarians. Yeah. Oh. And when she turns, she's going to have to, she has to be a meat eater. Oh my God. We get this every scene. Oh my God, here's your garden burger. Here's a spinach salad, Bella. Oh, she's making a salad at the salad bar in school. Who the fuck had a salad bar in fucking high school? Not me. I didn't. Not I. Not I either. And also uh, in the book, they mention it more. That she's, she loves the sun. She she loves the warmth. But she also never gets tan. She doesn't even burn. It's like nothing. Ha- it's meant to be. She's meant. Yeah. She's meant to way. be a vampire. Vampire. <laughs> and then like Edward doesn't show up for like a week. And Bella takes it as a personal attack on her. Right. Like what if he's just sick or on vacation like get over it's not all about you even though it kind of is yeah maybe he took too much fucking viagra and he couldn't get his boner down oh my god (laughs) there's also like we get like little glimpse of like some bullshit going down where uh this guy's getting hunted and it's by these people that look like they're wearing those nickelodeon moon boots do you remember (laughs) those i had those i do remember those yeah that's what they look like they're just going hey just jumping. Just jumping. Like, it was just... The graphics are just... I get it. It's the first film. Their budget was low, but whatever. Right and hey, uh, hey, Arizona, how you liking the rain, girl? How you liking the rain, girl? She gets back to school and, oh my God, Edward is back. Oh. And he's more... He's polite Edward. There's, like, different sides of Edward that is a red fucking flag. Yeah. He's showing his proper side. Hello. Please leave. <laughs> I didn't get to properly introduce myself. My name is Edward Cullen. You were gone. Like, where did you go? Um, I just, I can't even remember what the fuck he says. Like, he wasn't feeling well or he had to make, do a, make, take a trip somewhere. I don't yeah. know. Apparently in the books, he went to Alaska to brood or something because he wanted Bella so bad that he had to... Go out into the woods and brood. Yeah, Ugh, he had to brood. And we've already brought it up, and a lot of a lot of people who 
do commentary of these movies. Just the way Kristen Stewart as Bella, just, it's hard to tell if she's turned on. I mean, I, I, maybe she's just going for nervous, but yeah. it just looks like she's like physically ill and just blinking and stammering and uh, this thing she does with her mouth, like her like her tongue is like swollen. She's just like, eh, eh. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta say, I know that you were saying it's about the direction, but I gotta go ahead and say that I agree with you on that one. But I personally do. I am not a fan of Kristen Stewart's acting. I don't know her as a person, so I can't say it on that. But damn near every film that I've seen her ass in, I can't fucking stand it. Only thing that she does very well is she dies like a fucking champ. <laughs> I have never seen anyone more believable <laughs> when they are dying. I should have I should have written it down. There was something that I kind of liked her in. It was when she played like an actress, and it was like a, it's a based on true story. And I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. I haven't um, seen it, but yeah, I know. And like their com- their conversation is obviously boring. Edward wants to know more about her. We already know her fucking backstory: divorced parents, blah blah blah. Right. blah. Boring, boring, boring. We get first glimpse of what Edward can do. Uh, Bella is in, well, everyone's in the school parking lot. Mm-hmm. All the other group of kids, they're having a good time, but Bella's being, you know, her little uh, self, reading a book and right. listening to her little iPod. And this van comes throwing, what the fuck? The van starts throwing. The van starts throwing. No, it's like skidding, it's out of control, and it almost hits Bella, and then Edward <gasps> jumps. Stops the van. Stops it. One hand. And I love that he does this thing where he's looking at the van and then he slowly, t- he, slowly he tucks his chin under, does a full like neck roll, looks at Bella, and then walks away. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh my god, Bella, you're so silly. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, nobody saw Edward in the middle of this no fucking one else, van. No one else saw Edward but Bella. Like, because in. Like, where he was before the van was, like, it, it, there's no way physically possible someone who is human can get from there to where she was. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're at the hospital, and we meet. I could not, I can't spell this fuck. I, it's Carlisle. I can't spell it, so I, I, I wrote it down as a Dr. Cullen, who the only other movie I really remember him in was Can't Hardly Wait. Yep. When he played the asshole jock. Oh, I love that. I love him. <laughs> He's so awful in that movie not awful like his character so he did a good job but he's just that mean bully jock guy where the fuck is he i don't know but now he's sensitive and warm and he obviously didn't buy the correct uh powder that doesn't match the rest of his skin (laughs) which a lot in the first movie like all the vampires like they're of course yes we get it they're the pale faces but can their faces match their neck right Bella's fine, everyone's fine, whatever. But uh, Edward is there with Rosalie, arguing with Carlisle. Um, I think Rosalie, they wanted her to die. They're like, she she already has seen too much, she needs to die. Not everybody, but it was more like Rosalie. And, and in the books, Rosalie actually has a thing for Edward. So that's part of why she hates uh... Bella throughout most of the... Of the movies, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fucking and Edward, fruit. Yeah, and Edward always only saw her as a sister figure. Mm. You're with my brother who could kick my ass sideways. Yeah. Better believe I'm not coming for you. And, it, and this is where we start to see, like, really, like, horrible behavior of Edward. Because she knows, she, she saw, she's like, okay, can I talk to you? How did you do that? Yeah. He's like, what are you talking about? You stopped the van. He's like, I was right by you, Bella. What, why, like, what are you talking about? What are you, like, like, you had a head injury. You hurt your head, honey. You don't know what you saw. Like, completely fucking, like, gaslighting her. Yeah. And then she's like, and a, a good, a funny and also true thing that Mike Nelson says in Rift Tracks after Edward says, well, nobody's gonna believe you, so. Quoting from the Abusive Guy Handbook. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's so true. Yeah. And I'll th- I love that there are there are a couple of like little nods to the audience, I think, that are like red flags for us. Yeah. Edward says, um, you're not going to let this go, are you? No. Well, I hope you enjoy disappointment. 
Uh, that's us. Yeah. I hope we enjoy disappointment for the rest of this movie because yep. that's what happens. Mm-hmm. Bella wakes up from a dream. Edward's in her room and then he's not there. It's just getting more and more like he's also a stalker. Right. We see more of that later on. There's this prom that's going on. I don't know if it's an end of the year prom or a winter prom. I don't fucking know. But everybody wants to go with Bella. All the boys are wanting to ask Bella. She says no. She uses some lame excuse that she's going to be in like Jackson, Florida view, whatever. And there's a field trip they go on. It's boring. We're going past that. (laughs) And I feel like... Have your compost tea. Yeah. A heap of compost. Compost, baby. (laughs) Who fuck said that? You wouldn't get it. No. Mm -mm. Okay. But like Edward like somehow still is like around her, but he keeps saying to her, you need to stay away from me. Then go away. Go away from her. And he like goes back and forth between like being polite and being, I can see why he's like trying to be mean. So she doesn't want to be friends but i didn't hear any conversation about them talking about being friends or developing any type of friendship but by the end of the field trip uh edward's like bella we shouldn't be friends what like (laughs) what conversation have they yet to have that has shown us that a blooming friendship is developing right no 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 no. it's anna face (laughs) you mind if i check Anna face, like I said. Like I said. <gasps> oh my god. Just hot. Hot, hot, hotty, hot. Just so much chemistry in the chemistry class. No! <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> god, it's so stupid. I know. <laughs> oh, we have fun. No? There, we didn't mention like Jacob Black, who is part of the Quitalian tribe, and he and his family tribe they all are in the area but they don't go to the local school they go to school on, on the, res. the on, on the res the, on the reservation res. yeah and again back at school edward like still goes up to fucking bella and it's just like stop why are you so obsessed with me <laughs> why are you like being by me like you shouldn't like be around me who do you think i am and bella's like oh i don't know i'm thinking like radioactive spiders kryptonite oh so you think i'm a hero what if i'm the villain (gasps) god and then bella like well there then there's that hey la push baby it's a la push la push and she really bella has the best reaction i'll go if you stop saying that because yeah it's really fucking annoying but bella tries to invite what that's what it's called yeah like, let's go. We're going surfing in Washington when it's freezing and raining all the time. Ooh, that just doesn't sound fun. No. Ugh. Sounds like a great time to me. Mm-mm. Get the pneumonia doing that shit. Mm. But hey, do you. But Bella invites Edward to go. Like, hey, why don't we just, just hang out and, have, and like do something fun? Like, go to the beach. What beach? La Push. Oh, I can't go there. It's a little crowded. <laughs> and leaves. They're at the beach. Jacob and his friends kind of crash there, but this is my res. This is my res, lady. Yeah, you uh, on our res. Yeah, you're now. on. You're on our res now. <laughs> and what one thing I want to mention? It's uh, in the book, which obviously in the film makes no sense, because the uh, Jacob's friends they say, "Oh yeah, well the Collins don't come here." Yeah, the Collins. They're like dumb. Yeah, they're like weird. Yeah, they're weird. Yeah, they're totally weird. But uh, Jacob and Bella go on this walk. And according to the book, Bella, we see that Jacob kind of knows little. Obviously, he knows more about the town because he's, you know, he grew up there. But because of that comment, she wants to know what Jacob knows. In the book, she claims that she uh, was fake flirting with him so he would tell her more. In the book, at this, in this one, Jacob is 14. Oh, good. Four, 14. Now how old is she? Like 16, 17. Oh, okay. Well, I think 17. But still, isn't 14 like not like barely a freshman? It is. A, I think that is. A, I think that's a freshman. If not about to be. Uh, yeah, I'd say like between freshmen. That's 14, 15, 16, 17. Because when you're 14, 16. 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Yeah. But st- I don't know. Still. Like I guess now being like adults, whatever, it's... 
fine. I guess what so is it's that? It's like eighth grade, fourteen, maybe. I guess we'll call it eighth grade. Hey, is, I guess is that like our age difference? <laughs> well, it's like what? I... Are we more than that? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I to judge? Who are we? Huh? But you're not a child. <laughs> it's just far fucking from it. <laughs> God, damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> So Jacob starts telling Bella this uh, old story about how his tribe, they descended from from wolves. They met these pale faces who said that they aren't a threat. So they have this like treaty, not like truce, but you don't go on my turf. Don't go on our turf. We're cool. Right. Whatever. So here's the reason we met Buck Crack Santa. He gets killed. Yeah. That's the only reason we met him. But we actually get to see who is doing these killings and these three Coachella rejects <laughs> I like <laughs> the only person well, that I like in the group is Laurent I know he is actual, a- actually very fabulous he, he wears these like this thing what is it called like these ruffles that men used to wear back in yeah, the day like is it like a bonnet or a collar something I don't remember, but he's the only one that I like in the group because it's like, oh my God, every time it's always the same thing. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Come on. Like, oh, it's just... James, let us not play with our food. Yeah. James doesn't have a shirt on. He was so fucking dumb. He oh. was so fucking dumb. The worst bad guy ever. I like that actor because of Pandorum, but he was so fucking dumb. Everybody was dumb in this. I know, but he <laughs> was dumb. Like, just... who the fuck just shows up out of nowhere with a fucking shirt off? I guess him. It's James. It's, it's his character. James. It's what yeah. he does. But, like, they're not intimidating nice at all. All they do is just, like, jump and pose. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're being intimidating by doing, like, model poses. Oh, my God. That's actually something that I remember getting into an argument with. Oh, no. Over something. So, this might be a little too far ahead. When is it? When she's at that book. Yeah, it's too far. We're getting there. Okay. We're well getting there. I'll save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We're actually, like, pretty much there. Because what's a teen movie without a trying dresses on montage? Right. Which we don't really get a montage. But the girls are just, like, awkward. Like, oh, my God. I like this one because, like, it makes my boobs look good. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously. And who the fuck tries on dresses in the, in the front of the fucking store by the window? The dressing room. Need, they're in the back. Was that even the dress? That wasn't even the dressing room. It it looks that like that it was. literally looks like they fucking left the dressing room, went to the fucking window, and were like just trying on dresses. Like that was... It, yeah, it was very incorrect. Like Bella was hanging out, of course, because she's the not like other girls. She's yeah. the quirky, tomboy, kind of cool girl. She was sitting at the window doing homework or something but like the girls walk you're right they walk to the front of the store where their breasts are on display yeah i'm sorry to say but i think that was on purpose well it was on purpose because we see the we get the first view of the the group of guys that are like ooh. yeah the cat callers the cat callers yeah they're all like ah gross ah but uh bella the only reason she went there was because she we get a lot of Google searches, not not just in this one, but in every. I didn't I, even know Amazon was a fucking thing during this. It was. You can buy books. I remember Amazon was just like a book. That's where you buy books. Oh. But she wanted this book about the legends of the tribe. Hidden temple. Hidden temple. Yes. Mm-hmm. Got to figure out how to put that monkey together. You know, I do wonder, actually, I do. So in the book, does, like, the bookstore person, does he, like, have a say? Does he, like, talk to her and is all like, hey, how you doing? Or is he, like, a legit bookstore person who just sells the book and says, have a nice day? Yep. Okay. Because every time I watch this, I'm, like, waiting for him to be all like, oh, Quillette cool Tribe. Huh? You have something you need to know about... Oh, I could tell you all. And then mm. when he does that, I'm just like, 
Thank God he doesn't fucking do it because that's like everywhere I go. I don't want to yeah. talk to you. Give me my book. <laughs> Welcome to the Quillette tribe. But she's walking in a dark alley by herself and oh my God, the boys. Oh my God, the boys are back. Oh my God, the boys. And they approach her and all they want to know is where is she going? That's all they really ask her. And even the Rift Track guys, they say it too. Like, yeah, we, need, we must know. Where are you going? No, like this is, the, this is why our group has been formed. We want to know where you're going. Yeah. You know what I noticed though? What? When they were doing that shit, one of the guys, believe it or not, it was the one who like gets up to Edward and is all like, that wasn't very safe. Yeah. He actually said like when they were like, God, circling her and like shit corralling yeah her. <laughs> he actually was like okay go she's not comfortable really he said something like that he said something like she's not having fun with this it's almost like they were trying to have fun with her i don't want to like justify this right but this is just something that i caught today like he literally was just like guys this, she's not she's not enjoying this or something and it sounded like legit. It sounded like he was legit. And then, of course, it cuts to him and he's like the drunk one. And it's all like, ugh, ugh. and then I'm like, okay, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, did drunk him have a sober moment? Uh, hello. That, that could have been it. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's just like, guys, no, this isn't right. Guys. And then that fucking Edward shows up. Yeah, and he, this he, is he where... comes in all like fast and furious with his fucking Volvo. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Your beige Volvo. <laughs> but fucking so he comes in and then he gets out of his car and he get in this, the car. Yeah, he just stared out and this pissed me off. I got into so many arguments with that ex of mine because she, I don't know why she did this in Lord of the Rings too and Legolas. Oh, he broke so many ribs doing that jumping on the horse thing. No, he didn't. Anywho. What what did Edward do that... So she was like, oh, you know, this was so hard for him because he had to look intimidating and he had to scare five guys. So he really had to get that look down to be like, oh. And I was like, that's the stupidest thing. That was not intimidating at all. No. The only thing that I... I it's really hard to tell because like most he first movies in a franchise... The lighting in this whole film is bad. Hmm. But I think what happens is because his, his eyes tend to change color from like this golden color to like black or something. And I think that's what happened. His eyes turned black and that's what scared him off. Hmm. That's my guess. Hmm. But yeah, he's supposed to be into. And we've seen that in other movies where like intimidating like people will <sighs> do this look and will actually be intimidating. Nathan Jones. Tyler Nathan Maine. Jones, Tyler Maine. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, that's Sean Bean. Yep. Uh, Just stare from him makes me say, fuck. Fuck me up. <laughs> Bella's brought back to the girls. I'm like, oh my God, where have you been? We were like starving and stuff, so we like already ate. And I don't understand why Bella doesn't want to tell her friends what happened. Like something legit could have happened to her. And Edward was miraculously there. But uh, Edward made an excuse, like Bella wasn't saying anything. And then Edward's like, hey, ladies, um, I'm so sorry. Uh, Bella and I just saw each other and we uh, got to talking and lost track of time. I'm yeah. sorry. I have a theory. I think that because those two, like she probably purposely didn't tell the two because those two are number one, like exaggeration queens. They're fucking they overreact their missy talks a lot Ooh. they're like all of these fucking things and it's like oh great like if they get wind and they tell everybody they tell the boys who are already annoying the gossip girl yeah and, it's like you know what that makes sense mm -hmm. and bella didn't want to say anything probably to help cover up for edward and mm. edward was the one to make any excuses you wear your seatbelt <laughs> why did you your seatbelt you didn't read their minds I know what they were thinking. It was horrible. Those ruffians. Those ruffians. Oh, God, I just want to rip their heads off. Quick, say something to change my mind. Distract me. You should put your seatbelt on. <laughs> you should put your seatbelt on. No, you should put your seatbelt no, on. You no, you. you. Oh, my God. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. They go to the restaurant and eat. Of course, Bella orders a mushroom ravioli and the... Sounds kind of good. That does mushroom ravioli. I turn up for that shit. That is good. Oof. Uh, the waitress is soaking in her panties for Edward. 
Makes it very obvious. The waitress? The waitress in the restaurant. Oh. Oh. Bella wants answers again. Edward says that he feels... Cat. So... Cat sex. <laughs> hmm. He feels very protective, a.k.a. Uh, possessive mm. of Bella, and he doesn't think that he could control it anymore. He's also been following her. I made sure to keep at a distance, in, just like in case... You, in case you wanted me there or she needed help or something. And then I heard what those low lives were thinking. And I just couldn't help myself. Hmm. And he also, ow, I bit my tongue. Ow. Uh. Damn. He also reveals that he could read minds except Bella's. What? And of course, another thing, well, Bella does it throughout the whole thing. She's like, is there something wrong with me? And, he, and Edward just kind of answered correctly. He's like, I tell you that I could read minds and you are asking what's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? And now he doesn't have the strength to stay away from her anymore. And, she, and of course, then don't. Ugh, all these mood swings. Yeah. Like these like faces that the actors make. Like I'm wondering if maybe reading this Midnight Sun will help understand why uh, Robert Pattinson's Edward has all these mood swing faces. Is it because he can read minds? How does he shut them off kind of thing? Yeah. I don't know if that's part of his struggle in life. What's fucking goofy to me is that you've been doing this how fucking long and you are so shitty at it and you're doing all this weird shit yet you still go out in public and live in the why the fuck not play your goddamn age and go be a hermit fucking somewhere yeah. or go fucking live off the land like some fucking i'm sorry cult be a nomad right like come on now Mm -hmm. They they gotta be smarter than that. But no, no, better to blend in in fucking public. Yep. They're in the car, and then, oh my god, they touch fingers, and his hands are, like, super ice cold. Yeah. Not right now, but for majority of my life, my hands have been icy cold. Oh, yeah. Does that mean I'm a, am I a vampire? Vampire. Vampire? Oh, my god. Say it out loud. Vampire. The skin of a killer, Bella. Skin of a killer, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get to that part. Let's get there. Let's get there. Okay. So butt crack sand is dead. They find out about it at the station, and uh, Bella's dad gives her some pepper spray because they think it's a bear. That was not bear mace. That was like regular fucking human. Mace. That was regular mace. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that's going to do to a bear, but I I'd hate know. to be the one to find out. Yeah. So then all these things start adding up for Bella. Like all the signs that she's noticed about Edward is starting to make sense. We get another Google search. Everything vampire, 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 cold ones and in each culture and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the next day, it's like dramatic music is coming. Then you see Bella in the courtyard like looking for edward and then we see edward walking and he's looking for her she walks towards him and then walks past him and for and somehow uses her female powers to lure him into the woods uh. when he's the one that really would be doing that i don't know right and we get that scene you're super fast and you're super strong you're, you're you're never around in the sunlight and you don't eat anything and uh, I can't, uh. if, if you could outrun me. Oh, God. If, if you could fight me off. He pulls a fucking root out of the ground. Yeah. Not even a root. It was like a vine. I could pull that. Like, come on. You, you could fight me off. I'd be the first one to take my shit off. I'd peacock. I'd say, here you go, motherfucker. There's a Let's go, Ed. <laughs> Let's go, Ed. That gets made fun of a lot, like in, on like TikTok and oh, YouTube. Doesn't. Like people recreate it because it's so fucking ridiculous. Mm. So, he, like, yeah, Bella's like, "Vampire, are you afraid?" No. And then he like he grabs her as if he's trying to intimidate her and make her scared. Yeah. You you. He like grabs her by the arm first. And he's like, "You have to see what I look like in the in the in daylight." The mirror. In the oh. daylight, yeah. Well, mirrors. I guess there are no mirror thing doesn't get brought up. It's a myth, Bella. It's a myth, Bella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta see what I look like. 
Yeah, you got to see what I look like in the sun. You're going to fear me. And then we get to see the, we have to see the horrible sight that is a vampire in the sun, which in most movies, books, whatever, they die. Yeah. They die in the sun. The light fucking brings them what they truly are, ash. Oh. And from ash, we return. And we get all this like set up, set up, set up to see that he sparkles. The skin of a killer belt. The skin of a killer belt. You look like a diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. You're beautiful. I mean, that would be my reaction. Like, honestly, like, he, like, at first I was like, why is he so worried about people seeing him sparkle? Like, most people would be like, oh my God, that's so cool. That's so beautiful. But he explains that the sparkliness, like, because he says, I'm the worst predator ever. It's the the sparkly skin, his voice, his face, his smell is designed to lure people, to like to lure their prey. Because kind of like in other vampire movies, we see like they have this ability to entrance people, to get them like excited. They go into a trance mm. because they have these like vampire abilities to seduce people so they could eat. Mm. That's that's their way of doing it. But yet they I guess that's why they hide themselves from the daylight. Mm. So they don't entice people cuz he explains that oh, oh wait, wait wait before we mention again like get into the vegetarian part. So they make it, they make it a point like Edward tells all these like horrible things about his kind and then Bell's like I don't care. But then he explains, well, we're not like other vampires. We don't eat meat. We eat animals. So I just find it weird that he explains all these things that are like really very terrible. And then she's still, she's just like, I don't care. And then, and then he reveals what's good about him. Do you find that kind of weird? Because yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. He wanted to kill Bella so badly and isn't sure that he can control him. I, he, he, oh God. I'm like. My brain is going faster than my, my voice. Yes. He wanted to kill Bella so badly. Like he calls it like she's his own brand of heroin that was made just specifically for him. God, what a line. What a line. What a line. I bet women, like girls were like hoping, oh my God. Am like, I your heroine? Like me, I, I remember there was this episode of Sex in the City when uh, Berger and Carrie were in this like fight in the alleyway with, uh, he was on the bike and he's just like, I don't want to be this guy. I think, I think you're magnificent. Berger and Carrie. Berger and Carrie. I thought, I thought Berger got with fucking, uh, what's her nuts? No, Berger. Miranda. No, Berger and Carrie. Jack Berger, the writer. Uh, what's his name from uh, The Office Space movie? Oh, he was Berger. Yeah. I remember hearing that. I'm like, oh my God, I want to hear him. Up. I want to hear someone call me magnificent. So I guess upping that now to that time, you got to get, you got to one up it and I want to be called someone's personal brand of heroin. Yeah. That's real love. That's what it is. <laughs> so stupid. Personal brand of heroin. They teeter totter like between sexual, like sexual chemistry, and he wants to eat her. Yeah. And like not eat her, he wants to like suck her blood. And this is where I, I'm, I'm like really trying to figure it out. Mm. I even tried to skim through certain parts of the book. Like, are we going to get more explanation about this? And what, is there a difference? I didn't hear anything. I gave up. Yeah. It's so funny. So they finally like are giving into each other, like the lion or the lamb falls for the lion or something. Mm. What do two sexually charged teenagers do when they can't take it? Like they're finally like giving into their emotions. They knit. They lay in a bed of flowers in a meadow yeah. and they just stare at each other and talk like i get it sex isn't everything they're teenagers they want to get to know each other whatever but i feel like this is like where stephanie myers kind of like sprinkles in her own personal like values and opinions and it, and it just shows it throughout the film like they don't have sex until they're married and what happens when you have sex you get pregnant right away. Mm. That's the only reason women are designed on this planet. Yep. And it's, I don't know. It just, he explains that like biting humans and like sucking their blood. It's like, that's them like giving into temptation and uh, losing control. Like if you suck the blood to a point that they're dead. Yeah. Oh my God. That's like, 
that means they're the bad guy, you know, whatever. I get it. Yeah, don't kill people. But the way they explain it, it's just, there's always that like, is he talking about sex or is he talking about, I get it. There's like, a, there's a difference. Like there are murderers that like, there are cases where like sex and sexually charged things can turn into murder, whatever. Right. But Femme fatale. it just, it's not, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Because I can't tell that like, he, it, he, he wants to eat. He, he's in love with her but he wants to like kill her and then there's that scene where they try to like kiss i don't know i don't know it's just all it's just all confusing yeah and it's i don't know like i guess because they are the vegetarians they it, it shows a form of like uh, control chastity they mm. restrain themselves keeps you virtuous yeah ever wants to introduce bella to the family <sighs> We get like the official meat. Sorry. They like made the family made an effort to cook, and Bella like she she ate already because she knew that they didn't eat food. So like who who was the polite one? Whatever. Good thing Rosalie was wearing her protective gloves before she smashed that bowl. Did you notice that Rosalie was wearing these like leather gloves before she? No. Oh yeah, you'll notice it now. And then when they get a close up on her, you don't see them again. God, you know what's funny? I just I feel like I've been catching every little thing in films now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because we've been doing this podcast, probably. Or, you know, or it's we're like looking the at the herb. I don't know. We're looking at things in a different perspective. Yeah, like I find I can still kind of like escape through film, and I'm glad I fully haven't become cynical and lost it. But still, yeah, it is what it is. I think sometimes. I I think I'm becoming a little cynic. <laughs> a little oh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally I'm a like, cynic. I'm like, fuck, what is happening? I totally see myself as a cynic now, and part of me is just like, whatever, bro, this is, it is what it is. Maybe it'll pass. But other times I'm like, oh, my God, this is awful. Like, It's like what Randall says in Clerks 2. I hate everyone, and everything seems stupid to me. Yes. Like, Oh, God, that never felt so real. That, like, still, that's the one thing I'm like, oh, my God, why, why is that? <laughs> Why is that the quote of life right now? Right. Every time. And uh, I guess we'll get more to the other characters, but I want to like talk about Jasper just for a second. So he's the newest vegetarian. And we see when, because we meet Alice and Jasper, we meet Emmett kind of officially. Of course, right. he's a man of few words. Alice is like, oh my God, you do smell good. Don't worry, Edward. Belle and I are going to be great friends. And then Jasper just looks like he's in pain and i love that uh riff tracks calls him evil harpo <laughs> <laughs> i'm harpo evil harp harpo marks from from the marx brothers <laughs> <laughs> but like he's the newest vegetarian his um his will his uh control to not kill people is the weakest yeah it's very obvious he wants to suck on bella but why is he going to school and just being around, I know they kind of like exclude themselves. They don't really interact with other people. But someone that's new to the vegetarianism of being a vampire, I'm surprised they're having, they don't mention random kids just disappearing. Right. Explain that to me. I don't know. Stephanie Meyer. Yeah. Oh, well, they get their own school bus too. They do so get, their they own... get their own fucking class. But Edward's in a class with, with, with Bella. Oh, yeah. It makes no sense. It No sense. They get their own bus talk to us fm uh, yes talk to us please or fans like to try help us help us understand help us understand like make it make sense if you're gonna go with something like stick with it you better bring all your fucking guns i bring it because i will not be turned <laughs> you will not be turned i will not be turned these pleasant delights have pleasant ends they say that in the one of the Twilight movies. Do they really? Yeah. Oh, shit. These violent delights have, whatever it is. What violent delights have violent, pleasant ends. I don't know. Fuck. I don't remember the quote. I don't know why that just popped in my head. And that's either. funny because that's one of like the opening lines in one of the fucking Twilight movies. Holy shit. These violent delights have ends or whatever. Whatever the I fuck know. it We're is. We're so cultured. Yeah. Right. Mm. And also, like, be like uh, there's, like, a little montage of, like, Edward playing the piano for Bella. Oh, my God, he's so cultured. He knows everything. He loves them. I, I, when I last <laughs> watched this, I'm going to uh, highlight Mike for a, for a minute. He is obviously the simp of the group. He mm. is obsessed with Bella. He wants to be with her. He kind of just dates Jessica just because, whatever. Ooh. Mike. The blunt, how you liking the rain, girl? Oh. Because, uh... 
it's, it's this scene at school. Uh, Mike goes up to Bella and he, and he like he's annoying, but I think he's like the only human who isn't vampire blind. Yeah. Because he's he's like, oh, so uh, you and Colin, huh? I don't like it. I don't like it. At first, like, okay, come on, you're jealous. And he's like, like it's just I don't know. He just looks like he looks at you and he looks like you're something to eat. No. Like in a way, like yeah, that can be considered like funny, but he's speaking the truth right. in a way because he does. And of course, she's not gonna listen. She's like, oh my god, you're just you're the safe, nice guy. I'm gonna go be with the rebel. Yeah. But like. <laughs> Why is he in that moment, like, the voice of reason, like, yeah, this predator wants to eat you. I don't like. Right. I don't know. That was just a weird thing that popped in my mind. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Meyer gets cameos in some of the films. Even her name in the movies is Stephanie. Is it? Yep. Oh, God. Yep. And she's, like, at the diner on a laptop writing her next hit, probably writing Midnight Sun. And a person of color gives her her food. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, there you go, Stephanie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bitch, I told you I'd get you. Ooh. Um, Bella has, like, small conversations with her mom, whatever. The one thing I, I got annoyed with was she was on the phone with her mom talking about, you know, what's going on. And then Edward just, like, shows up in her room and just pretty much just wants all of Bella's attention. It's like, Mom, I gotta go. Edward's here. She didn't say that, but... Oh. Uh. It's like... Would you let her talk to her mom? Like, just stay outside the window. Like, let her let her talk to her mother. Right. The main reason he is there because he wants to try something. Sex. Kiss. Ah, uh, yeah. Kiss. He wants to try to kiss her and see, see, just see what happens, pretty much. These violent delights have violent ends. Right? There we go. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. These violent delights have violent ends. Mm. Yeah, that was correct, yes. Oh, and then we find out that for months, Edward has been sneaking into her room, watching her sleep. God. Guys, people, this is not a romance make. This is creepy, possessive, stalking, abusive, like, crap. Yeah. It's not cool. Like I said earlier, I was sucked into this shit too, but I just didn't know. I didn't know. I did. You didn't listen. I wasn't told. You didn't listen. I wasn't told. <laughs> <laughs> I was not warned that the real world is shit. Yeah. <laughs> but you were told. Everyone told. Everyone said it. Everyone knows that the world is nothing. It's nothing. Right, moving on. <laughs> don't even know what that's from. I don't either. I think I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> God, guys. We still got it, I this guess. We still got it. This movie is... Look what it's doing. Look what it's doing to us. So they make out for like a minute and then like Edward does this like dramatic jump back. <laughs> Twist the bones <laughs> and break the back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jump the back. Fur. Black is black. Jump back. <laughs> 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 and this is again i'm getting fucking confused does like sex equal murder hmm. like he he says that he it's too i'm too str i'm too strong I, I can't i can't control myself with you control what control your vampire sucking bloodness because later on in the films they bring up like oh my god you can't have sex with this human because you'll kill her because he's so... He'll be too rough. He'll be too rough because sexual sexuality means I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah. Let's scare the kids. Don't have sex because you'll get murdered. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I think. Oh, no, it's funny. <laughs> Another thing that popped in my head, like, I love sushi. Yes, you do. I could eat sushi all day, every day, hands tied behind my back. I would eat every fish on the menu. And it makes me think of like when kids would say certain things, when you say like you would love this thing, like when you would love things. Well, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Right. Did you go? Am I sushi? No. Like, because Edward is, that's her, br that's his brand of heroin, meaning like. Oh my God, he's he needs to marry he's it. He's looking at you like you're something to eat. Mm. Well, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Ah, uh, done. And he does. Oh my god, I feel like I, 
that was brilliant and i failed <laughs> no you did not fail you did everything right no. everything that was expected so that's why i'm confused like i need to know why is this what is i don't know but they just cuddle and talk which is fine it's cool yeah, right. we get the baseball scene whatever they get to show off their skills we have we can only play during the during the thunder why because every time we hit a ball it sounds like thunder what 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 and i love it like emmett, and you don't break the ball or the bat i know and like emmett i gotta he's doing these like um i can't think of what it like these tie bow moves to like warm up to play fucking baseball <laughs> tie tie, yeah it's tie bow. <laughs> rosalie calls him my monkey man oh he climbs my climbs up a fucking tree god we hear that. muse <laughs> It's just it's, it's, a, it's a show off scene yeah, for them to like stupid. show what they're capable of. And I will say I did like Alice in that scene when I first saw it. I was like, because Hello. she throws a good curveball mm. mm. all the way up. It's that high kick, isn't it? Yeah, all the way up. What? what? <laughs> Gets, she gets she, she's got some good fucking yeah she got some she's your manic her. pixie dream girl at the time at the time at the time yeah that's what i would justify when i would watch this film i'd be like it's all for alice it's all for alice alice and emmett alice and emmett so here we go so we get a lot of um the beginning of the movie is so dragged out mm. that the last 10 minutes of the film yeah is when the actual like danger and conflict starts to happen. It is yeah. so rushed. It's just bullshit. Honestly, this is this is where I stopped my notes. This is actually funny because after the ball scene is when I start to, the ball scene. After the baseball scene is when I start to like always fall asleep and then I and then I'm gone. I could turn it, I could honestly turn off the rest of this movie and be like I'm good. And it's sad because I don't like the beginning of this film either. Either no, I would rather <laughs> But I always fall asleep after baseball. I would rather watch over and over each scene because at least it it there's actual like I don't know. I wish I it, it's not rushed. Right. Is it slow? Yes. But when you rush something too much like what what the fuck is going on right because we the uh coachella vampires and the collins meet they need to hide bella <laughs> they like have first they're like friendly and then they oh, you brought a snack <laughs> they do their vampire stance <laughs> oh my god stay away yes opie's in on it too he's gonna get ya hi bubbly i'm insane i'm insane <laughs> I'm gonna lose my voice. <laughs> Dude, I already think I did. Um, cause yeah, they get like one whiff Shit. of Bella. I don't know, like just like Bella has this scent that is so temp, it's like so tempting that yeah. everyone is like, oh my god, you do smell good. Have you you smelled humans before? Right. And you don't eat what them. What is so special about what is so special Bella? about Bella? The human boys want her every. Fucking sex in the vampire world wants her. What the fuck is so special about this plain bitch? Pardon me. Yeah, and, and it. Uh, I came to find out that there is a type called the Mary Sue. And oh. Bella is technically a Mary Sue where they write a, a, a certain type of female character that is, like, the best at what they do. They are strong for some reason or whatever but we don't get any explanation as to why why like why is she so like uh why are the vampires so drawn to her why is she so special we don't get we don't learn any of it right she's just there mm. and that's what makes her mary sue like there's nothing there's no depth about her there's no like real past about why she is the way she is i mean at least give us a reason so we could start to em like empathize with her right i can't empathize with her mm. because she has that oh well this movie is about her she it's she's the um it's like that main character in a movie like syndrome where everyone it's like everyone like believes like the world like like they are the star of their movie and everyone else is just background day players yeah and that's pretty much what it is 
Not that Bella like relishes in it. She herself doesn't understand. Give us something. We we learn that like James, his like thing is he's 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 a hunter. He yeah. can't let go when he's on the hunt. So now everyone's freaking out. We gotta help. We gotta help Bella. They make these elaborate plans about Bella leaving. Poor Charlie. We'll talk about him more in other films. He really is the best character in the whole franchise, Agreed. I believe. Yeah. He's I'll, so yeah. down to earth. He's a great dad. He doesn't hover. He he also like will ground Bella when she does things like we'll we'll talk more about him but it's just they go out of town there's uh, alice who sees the future sees this room and it's a ballet studio full of, full of mirrors james like lures bella there because he threatens to kill her mom so now she's having a hero moment <sighs> james finds her and kind of throws her around he bites her so there's venom going through her. The Collins come to the rescue. Then we get a test of... Um... Emmett and Jasper rip them in half. Oh my god, yeah. The like... only part that I actually, I think, liked in this film. Because there was actually, like, action? Yeah, because <laughs> there was actually something and my boy Emmett was in on yeah. it. Yeah. Emmett was in on it. Yeah. But um, Carlisle's like, you gotta make a choice. You either change her or she dies. And uh, uh, Edward's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to suck the venom out. Well, don't suck too much or else she's gonna die. So he starts sucking. So he's actually getting a taste of what he's been scared of all along <laughs> yeah. is her blood. And Car Carlisle had to say, Edward, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. That is enough. Yeah. Bella wakes up in the hospital. That's enough, Lestat. That's enough, Lestat. enough Lestat. Oh my God, it's Lestat. Lestat. What? It's Lestat. That's what it is. is. Know, it's fucking Lestat. The difference being that in that particular vampire film, if the vampires drank too much. Yes. If they drank to the last drop, the vampire dies. Right. Love that. Yeah. Love that. This one. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't care. I don't fucking know. Everything's fine. The parents believe the lie that the Collins made up and... What did they make? That... She well, well Bella, Bella ran away. She went to some hotel or something. She fell out of a window and fell down a bunch of stairs, broke her legs, and has a bunch of cuts. Oh, that's been very believable. Mm. It's so believable. Yeah. And then we got to end every teen movie with a dance. The dance. Yeah. Oh, best part when Charlie, when he comes in, send him in. He's cleaning his fucking shotgun. That's before the baseball scene. Oh, shit, is it? Yeah. Oh, damn. That was good comedic timing. Yeah. Oh, Edward wants to meet you officially. All right. Send him in. Cock, cock, <laughs> bring him in. <laughs> Do you have your pepper spray with you? Do you get your pepper spray, Bella? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. Fucking Bella wants to be changed. I hate that they say, she says change all the time. And the riff tracks are very keen to say, are you wet again? <laughs> are you wet again? Oh, my God. But we end with them dancing. And then what the fuck her name is? That gets recasted. James's mate, Victoria. She's there. We see, oh my God, there's going to be a sequel. Who is it that becomes her? Isn't it Ron Howard's daughter? Yes. Yeah. In the third one. The third one. The she, third one's Ron Howard. The third one is Ron Howard's daughter. Yeah. Who I think does a way better job than whoever this chick know. is. I don't know who she is. I don't know her. <laughs> but guys, that's pretty much Twilight. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I know we spent most of this like bashing it. Yeah. I, try, I, I I said this <coughs> in a in a tweet in our good friend um, Cream. I was I was like I'm I'm tr I always try to find the good in something. Mm. And he answers, "Yeah, it ends." <laughs> oh, Cream. Like, yeah, that's the only good part. Oh my god, I almost spit out my wine. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it ends. It ends. <laughs> but like I said in the previous episode, from now on, uh, moving on to the rest of the films, I'm going to combine two at a time because there's no way I'm going to spend four more fucking episodes talking about this. I think we're still going to have fun doing it. Yeah. This is kind of just a warm up. The first one, not too much happens, but I'm going to start doing like a little more research. I might try to read the book a little more right. we shall see i'm interested in looking up more of like the behind the scenes stuff and dig into like how the act i slowly have like what the actors how they felt about the movie i've seen some and robert pattinson and fucking kristen stewart 
There's the train. Hello, train. It's not an episode without our friendly neighborhood train passing by. <laughs> they, like, I don't know if it, it seems like they completely, like, regret doing this. I would. I can't, I just can't imagine being a, a part of a franchise where it's like being in a, in a it's, it's, it's being a teen heartthrob. Like these fans will just scream, cry, stalk, and invade these actors who all they want to do is like do their craft, like treat them like they're objects that they can just go up to them and hug them. And oh my God, I'm so obsessed with you. Like it's bad. Mm. And I'm glad that some of them were able to move on, but they will forever, ever be known as the people from Twilight, a film that was a cash grab with no art intended. Right. So, yeah, that's it so far. We're just skimming the top right now. Yeah, this is the first the film. Top. I think we, if you follow us regularly, I think we know what's next. It's Jarok's pick. We're, yes. We're finishing out. The third ninjas. The third Ninja Turtles. The third Ninja Turtles. Yep. Um, unfortunately, no. I don't think I'm going to continue with the newer Ninja Turtles because I've yet to watch them. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> yeah, I've yet to watch them. Started watching like the first one, but I'm I not saw the first do it. one and maybe a little bit of the second. I don't know. No. But anyhow. Anywho, I guys. Hope he's ready to go, hope he's ready to go outside. So, contemplators, thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful afternoon oh and by the way you all know i'm never gonna watch this again by myself unless it's with rift tracks unless it's with rift tracks yeah yeah yes and uh twilight fans it really is nothing personal i'm just pissed at that mom so that's where most of my hate goes towards this film the mom the mom and stephanie meyer but the mom that I sat with because oh she was that so, mom that mom that Ooh. I sat with in the movie theater because she was so dug in like an Alabama tick to the story that she ruined everything. Moms no, ruin everything. Not, this movie's bullshit. <laughs> but anywho, uh, g- uh, thank you for joining us on this wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. Please. Uh, like and subscribe. You can find us on almost all podcasts and platforms. Yes, and we are all over the World Wide Web. Our Twitter is movies underscore pod. Our gram is movies dot... Wait, God. It's been a while since I've done this. I know. Ugh, the fuck is our Instagram now? God, I don't know. Movies.contemplation underscore pod. We have an email, movies.contemplation at gmail.com. And we are also on Facebook, Movies and Contemplation Podcast. Right, y'all. You heard it next week or whenever we get it out. Yep, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> up, 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 up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three. Okay? Bye-bye, baby. Bye, babies.